More like good news for the Ministry of Border, Labor and Control this morning at the radar signing ceremony held at the radar site located on Five Keys. The signing of a two and one contract, one part, the exchange of land between TCIG and private owner of road access to the radar site. The other contract for civil works to the site between the two parties. Fred Skovberg, lead technical expert in giving a little background on the project, explains more. This project originally started up because it was well recognized that trying to effectively, cost effectively run the ability to protect our borders requires technology that's over and above a n- number of police boats. You need something that looks over the entire coastline. That's what we are trying to in- implement today. It's for, to stop things like illegal boats coming in, and I don't mean just illegal Haitians. We're talking drugs and guns that can be brought in by, by illegal boats at any time if we're not looking. Also in attendance and bringing remarks was Governor His Excellency Gordon Ratherow. He noted that, uh, that the project was launched uh, in 2007. Uh, so it is a project that uh, has unfortunately been subject to, uh, to delays for a variety of, uh, uh, of reasons and that makes it all the more important that we now get on with it. So we're delighted now to have reached uh, uh, agreement with uh, Mr. Walkin uh, on the uh, acquisition of, uh, of uh, a bit of land and the uh, agreement to provide access uh, to, the, uh, to the site. And I say this is a vital step now in the uh, Uh, in the implementation of the project and in the delivery of a radar tracking capability for the uh, for the TCI. Permanent Secretary to the Ministry of Border Control and Labor tells us what's next for the project. We can now move on to the construction and we can see that some of the machinery is is here already to commence the construction of the road. There will also be the erection of electrical poles bringing electricity to the site and we look forward to partnering with PPC in terms of getting electricity to the site. There will also be the erection of the radar itself, an additional construction of the monitoring cabin and staff quarters, and importantly, according to Gardner, the hiring and training of staff to operate the facility. The system is a very sophisticated maritime radar system, which will enable heads of the maritime division to look out from land over to the territory waters to locate crafts that are headed to the TCI. It's a very powerful piece of kit. It has a very good range and a very good detection capability. It's tried and proven in the United Kingdom where they have a similar system in operation. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.